morning and welcome to oh no not the vine not vi vine start again oh we'll get it right oh no not vine weevils part two come and have a look katie look we've just been emptying out some pots of old some old beach hedging that was lying around and they are absolutely riddled with these little horrors um so i thought we'd just do another quick video about how to find them what you can do about them and uh where they end up. These are going in there, which is going to the chickens, they can root through and do it. But look, so I've got this beech tree. It's, not, it's, a, it's alive, but it's not thriving. You can see it's alive by just throwing nail in a little bit, nice and green. It will grow, but I'm guessing that there's going to be uh, the vine weevils in here. So I knock the pot off, clean him out. Let's have a look. Come, come up close, Katie. Let's see. I would say there is because there's no root growth at the bottom. So I'm fully expecting to find those little horrors just look at. See what there's little horrors in here. Ha ha. Right, there's one. So we know they're definitely living in here and the beetles have laid their eggs in this pot. You know why they would. I mean it's an unnatural environment, but it's a safe house. It's like putting, you know, if you would put your children somewhere, you'd put them somewhere where you thought they'd be alright and nothing would eat them. Well, that's what the vine weevil does. It lays on there, so you can gently root through and find each one. I'm going to show you what I do, which I find quite therapeutic. You might want to stand back a little bit, Katie. Just when you think they're in there, you smash the stupid faces in. Look at them shaking out. Look, look, Katie. Look. Absolutely loads of them. Raining vine weevils. Chickens are going to love this because they are going to be full of blood. There's hundreds of them here. It's a wonder the tree is alive at all, but you know, it'll probably survive. Got a bit of fresh root there. I thought that would be useful just to show you how many little blighters can be in one pot and why they will ruin a plant very, very quickly um, over the winter. So the most friendly solution is to use nematodes as the autumn sets in but the temperatures are still warm you need over five degrees and you uh, uh, water them in and they'll gradually as the uh, these are tiny then a lot softer bodied and uh, small and the, the the nematodes are a parasite of these they'll dig in and kill them in the pot so they never get around to doing the damage uh, it might work if you put them on now i've got no experience of that can't help you um, there's one thing, when, when plants are in a pot, say it's an, uh, an artificial environment, so I wouldn't be as bothered about putting the soil, you know, a vine weevil killer, chemical one, into the pots if that wasn't then going into the, uh, the great outdoors, um, because it would be a protected thing and it's a, it's a non-flowering plant, so it's, even though it's a systemic insecticide, it's not going to go and then go on to kill the bees. So. You have to make an informed choice about uh, insecticides and I can provide you more information if you'd like that. But for now, but that's fresh compost. Okay, so look at all these, they just fell out of there. They're not the ones I put back in. Loads of them, can you see them? Horrible little monkeys and you can tell... I haven't got my glasses on, hang on. The state of my hands. They're sort of getting ready when they start to get this shape in there and they start to grow a the head goes white and they get little legs here and they form a natural beetle and then they of course go on to make many more vine weevils which is not what we want at all anyway hope that's useful and uh, if you want to go beat your plants up as well then maybe that's a good thing to do bye